Hollowell Industries, Inc., HII, stands behind every product we produce pursuant to those representations which are stated in our written warranties. Your dealer, builder, installer, contractor is an independent business and not an agent, representative, or employee of Hollowell Industries, Inc., HII. We cannot and do not accept any responsibility for any representations, statements, or contracts made by any dealer, builder, installer, or contractor. Please note that in some photos, renderings, and video footage of the pools found in brochures, our website, and helpful videos, the no diving and other warning signage may not be visible. Such warning signage must be installed as indicated in the instructions provided. Thank you for choosing an HII swimming pool. This is a wise family investment, and with proper installation, your HII pool will provide a lifetime of lasting memories with your family, friends, and neighbors. It takes two to three days to install your pool, and it's important that you take your time. If you intend to have an optional special purpose deep swimming area, you'll need to allow more time for your pool installation. HII is not affiliated with any professional pool installer. Therefore, HII can assume no responsibility for errors in installation by either the homeowner or by said professional installers. If you have the pool installed by others, please supervise the installation process to make sure they comply with the steps we've shown. This installation video is designed to supplement HII's pool assembly and installation instructions for your style of pool. This video does not replace the written instructions. Be sure to read all instructions, including those for accessories such as filters, pumps, and skimmers prior to starting your pool assembly. Check to see if building permits or utility clearances are required, and obey all codes for fencing and electrical safety. The installation process is divided into four parts. The first and most important is the ground preparation. Second is laying the framework. Third is installing the pool wall and fourth, installing the liner and finishing the pool. There are two important pieces of information you'll need to have available at all times. The first is the parts list, and the second is the round pool assembly and installation instructions. Placement of your pool is a very important decision, and there are a few things to consider. Never place your pool under power lines, and stay clear of overhanging eaves which will allow rainwater to run off into your pool. Do not place your pool under trees that will shed leaves into your pool. Choose a spot with convenient electrical outlets for the pump and filter systems, and make sure there are no sprinklers in the area. Realize that where you begin to install the pool wall is where the ends will meet and is also where the skimmer and returns will be located. You'll have the choice between two coves, packed earth or preformed manufactured. If you choose the earth cove, you'll need enough earth to build a 6 inch by 9 inch cove around the base of the pool wall. This video will go into greater detail about the cove later. In addition to the following tools, check to make sure you have the tools listed in your pool assembly and installation instructions before you start the installation. You will need a 2 foot carpenter's level, a 5 16 inch hex nut driver, drill and bit, carpenter saw, sharp utility knife, a flat end shovel to help with a more precise excavation. A transit or builder's level is recommended to help with leveling the pool site. 12 by 12 by 2 patio blocks to be used under the verticals for additional stability and a more finished look. It's important to review the installation cautions portion of your instructions to see example of things to avoid during the installation process. The pool design you have chosen is a round pool. Some of the sizes are different, but the parts all go together the same way. For the round pool layout, you'll need to measure the diameter of the pool plus one foot for additional clearance. Begin by pounding a stake in the center of the chosen pool area. Then measure and mark out the appropriate clearance radius for your size pool, found in the pool layout dimensions section of the instructions. Next, remove all sod from the marked pool area. Your entire area should be within one inch of being perfectly level. It's very important to have the entire pool area as level as possible, so we're going to show you how to make a leveling tool. Drill a hole in the end of a 2x4. The length of the 2x4 should be the same as the radius of your pool. Attach the 2x4 to the center stake as shown. With a level taped to the 2x4, find the lowest area in the pool and remove all high points. Do not fill in low spots. The ground in this area must be firm. Using your leveling tool and a square shovel, Clear a one foot wide strip until you have a level reading all the way around the pool. This is where the pool frame will be installed. Remember, 
the entire assembled bottom rail framework must sit on solid ground that is within one inch of being level from side to side. And be sure that the entire level pool floor area is clear of any sticks, stones, tree roots, or any other objects that might puncture your pool liner. If available, you might consider hiring a contractor with a tractor or skid steer. If you have purchased a 20 or 25 millimeter thick expandable HII liner, you may evacuate an optional special purpose deep swimming area at this time. Remember, this area is for underwater swimming only, no jumping or diving. For more detailed information regarding your optional special purpose deep swimming area, consult your instructions. Once you're sure that the pool area is within one inch of being level from side to side, you're ready to assemble the framework. This is a vertical end cap. This is a bottom rail. These will be used to assemble the bottom framework of the pool. Now construct the bottom framework by sliding the bottom rail's grooves up into the vertical end caps against the stop tab. Continue all the wall around the pool until all bottom rails are connected. With the bottom rails installed, check for roundness by measuring out from the center stake to the bottom framework. The distance should be the same from every point. Now that you have checked the pool for roundness and you can see where the end caps are, you can start installing the patio blocks. The top of the blocks must be flush with the ground and must be centered under each vertical end cap. To do this, mark out where the patio block is to be placed. Dig out this area. Position the patio block and then check to see that it's level. If it isn't level, adjust accordingly until a level reading is obtained. For proper installation, it's also important to level from patio block to patio block, as shown here. Now that the bottom framework is assembled, make sure that the bottom rail is round and level before proceeding. Also make sure that there is no dirt inside the bottom rail. If there is, clean it out before proceeding. Before we go into the installation of the pool wall, Remember to clear the pool floor area of any debris that could puncture the liner. If you're going to use an earth cove, now's the time to bring the sifted earth into the pool area. Use a sifting screen to remove 1 8 inch pebbles or larger as shown here. When you're finished, remove one section of the bottom rail and wheel the earth into the center area. Once you have a sufficient amount of sifted earth, remove the wheelbarrow and replace the bottom rail section. You're now ready to install the pool wall. Before you remove the pool wall from the carton, take note of weather conditions and do not install your pool wall on a windy day. Place the wall carton near the starting point you selected during preliminary planning. Remember, you must begin the wall near an electrical outlet for the pool filter. Place the wall carton with the arrow facing upwards onto a piece of plywood. This will make it easier to move the wall during installation. Using a sharp knife, cut around the carton's bottom edge, then lift the carton over the coiled wall. Position the pool wall inside the framework and near the starting vertical end cap. Always start at the center of the vertical end cap so the vertical will hide the wall joint. Uncoil about 6 to 10 feet of the wall at a time and insert the bottom edge of the wall into the groove of the bottom rails as you go forward. Placing the coil on overlapping pieces of plywood will make it easier to unwind the wall. As you unwind the wall clockwise around the pool, you'll find the skimmer and return openings at the inside of the wall coil. Place the stabilizer rails on the top edge of the pool wall. Work around the top of the pool as the wall is inserted into the bottom rails. Telescope the small stabilizer rails into the larger stabilizer rails about six inches. Temporarily secure the stabilizer rails to the pool wall between verticals using duct tape. Bring the wall ends together until they meet in the center of the starting vertical end cap. Adjust all of the bottom rails in if the wall ends do not meet. Bring the pool wall ends together to the inside bottom rail and align the formed hooks. Once the formed hooks are aligned, slide on the joint piece until it's even with the top of the wall hooks. This will place it a little below the top of the pool wall. Whatever you do, do not hammer on the joint piece. You may use ordinary dishwashing liquid for lubrication. A damaged hook or joint piece can lead to pool wall failure and void your warranty. Once the joint piece is installed, Insert the wall back into the bottom rails. Place a piece of duct tape over the wall joint and reinstall the stabilizer rails. 
HII manufactures several brands. As previously shown, one of our brands uses a slide bar joint to connect the wall, while our other brands use a nut and bolt closure system. This fastening system provides excellent strength and wall stability and has pool wall ends that virtually snap in place for proper alignment during assembly. This design also positions the bolt heads to be flush with the inside of the pool wall for a smoother liner installation. Matching pool wall cover plates are provided with pools that have two skimmer openings. If you choose to use only one set, you'll need to cover the extra holes from the inside with the provided matching wall cover plates using duct tape. Be sure to cover all the inside edges and corners of the wall plates with additional duct tape. Use a Q-tip or cotton ball dipped in fast drying enamel to coat all bearer metal edges of the skimmer opening, protecting them against corrosion. Do not use your fingers to apply this coating as sharp edges may cause serious cuts. Enamel must dry prior to installing the liner to prevent damage to the liner. Some pool styles have one-piece verticals, while other pools have larger top rails requiring three-piece verticals. To assemble three-piece verticals, simply slide the centerpiece into the grooves you'll find on each side section. Please note that 6-inch, 7-inch, and 8.5-inch top rail pool models typically have three holes at the top of the verticals. Check the instructions for your style of pool and place the verticals over the tabs of the bottom vertical end caps and secure. Take the time to review the vertical and top rail details of the pool you chose in your instructions. Carefully follow figure 7, A, B, C, D, or E to attach the top vertical end caps to verticals. Check the pool for roundness by measuring the pool from side to side in opposite directions. Top rails attach between the vertical end caps. After referring to the hole selection chart in your instructions, use a felt pen to mark the holes appropriate for your pool size on the top vertical end caps and top rails. This will help avoid confusion when you attach the top rails. Attach the top rails according to the holes that you marked and be sure you're using the correct holes for your pool. Some pools have a bracket that attaches the top vertical end cap to the top of the vertical. Check the instructions to see if a bracket of this type applies to your pool. After you've attached the top rails, it's extremely important to check the framework to assure a level installation. Place the level on each top rail, working gradually around the pool to assure framework is within one inch of being level on opposite sides. And remember, always remove dirt to adjust framework, never fill in. This is where the pool frame will be installed. Remember, the entire assembled bottom rail framework must sit on solid ground that is within one inch of being level from side to side. The top connectors are installed over the top rail junctions. If you're installing another category of pool, some of what we show you may differ slightly. If your pool has outer connector skirts, they attach to the bottom of the top connector. Consult instructions for exact directions. You may want to use an earth cove as demonstrated, or you can purchase a manufactured pre-formed cove. You may also want to consider a manufactured floor covering to add additional protection for your pool liner. The manufacturer accepts no responsibility if earth cove or pre-manufactured cove is omitted. Before you install the liner, once again make sure the pool is smooth and clear of sticks, stones or other sharp objects, and fill any slight depressions like footprints with sifted earth and tamp down. If you intend to install an easy clip or beaded liner, follow the instructions that are packed with it at this time. Begin the liner installation by placing the liner on the top rail, allowing the loose end to hang about 12 inches over the outside of the top rail. The embossed or printed side of the liner is the water side. With help from your friends, start to unfold the liner down the center of the pool. Work in both directions from the point where the liner is overhanging. Drape the liner over the top rails and down the sides of the pool approximately 24 inches. Do not place the liner side seam over the skimmer or return fitting openings, which may cause the gasket not to seal properly. If you're installing a liner into an optional special purpose deep swimming area, refer to step 14 in your instructions. 
Before proceeding to step 15, make sure the liner's item number matches the item number on the carton. The item number is located on the smooth side of the liner at the intersection of the side seam and bottom seam. Write down the liner item number and keep it with your warranty information. This information will be helpful if there is an issue with your liner in the future. With the liner draped over the top rails and down the sides of the pool approximately 24 inches, the liner should be 6 inches to 12 inches above the pool floor in the center only. Remember that the center seam or center section of the liner must be positioned at the center line of the pool. The bottom edge seam of the liner should be inside the pool about 12 inches below the top rails. Correct any bunching or pleating in the liner wall and make sure the seams are straight. Inspect the liner for open seams and if any are found, return it to the dealer for a prompt replacement. Once the liner is in position, secure it to the underside of the top rails by placing a small piece of cardboard over the liner and attaching a binder clip to the cardboard. This will keep the liner in position and allow you to adjust the liner tension as the liner fills. Now it's time to fill your pool. Cover your garden hose with a sock or rag and secure with duct tape. This will protect the liner against potential punctures from the hose end. As the water begins to cover the bottom of the pool floor, the liner will stretch. Periodically, adjust the tautness in the liner by releasing the binder clips and gently feeding the liner back into the pool. Be very careful not to snag the liner on the framework. Continue in this manner all the way around the pool, reclamping the binder clips after adjusting the liner. Never allow the liner to fall back into the pool. Water between pool wall and the liner can cause pool failure. Refer to your instructions before making any liner adjustments. Stop filling when your pool has accumulated approximately 24 inches of water up the pool wall. Do not make any cuts in the liner until instructed to do so. With the help of two or three of your friends, lift the liner from three top rail sections. As they lift the liner, remove the attaching hardware at the top rail connectors from the top three rail sections and each of the stabilizer rails attached to the top of the pool wall. Be very careful during this process to be sure the liner doesn't fall back into the pool. Now make a hem in the liner like this one. Smooth the hemmed liner against the wall and pull the liner to the outside of the pool. Secure the liner to the top of the wall using your 24 inch plastic coping strips. Place the stabilizers back over the plastic coping and reinstall the stabilizer rails, remembering to telescope the small stabilizer rails into the larger stabilizer rails about 6 inches. Continue in this manner all the way around the pool to finish attaching the liner to the pool wall. With the pool completely assembled, locate the skimmer opening in the pool wall and install your skimmer using the installation instructions found in the skimmer carton. The skimmer openings in the pool wall have been specifically designed to fit an HII skimmer. Install the pump and filter using instructions found in their individual cartons. Finish filling the pool to the correct levels indicated on your skimmer's faceplate. Now that you have installed your new pool, HII would like you to know that we're very concerned about your safety. We have provided you with an assortment of safety literature with your new pool. You'll have years of fun and enjoyment with your new pool, but it's also a big responsibility. Please take the time to learn, understand, and follow all of the safety rules and regulations. We've also provided safety stickers, signs, and decals. It's mandatory that you place them in the appropriate locations around your pool. After you've installed the skimmer, return, pump, filter, and have placed all the decals, all you have left to do is fill her up. Enjoy your pool for years to come. It's got to be an HII pool.